Okay, I'm here in Test Out LabSim PC Pro Chapter 12, Section 6.4, Implementing Malware Protection on Windows. And Captain Rob, our online instructor, has just told us that um, you should only have one anti malware program or antivirus program, kind of interchangeable terms, it seems, to be running on your system at a time. And if you choose to have a secondary program taking care of your security, you should disable Windows Defender. And he pretty much leaves it at that. Um, but there are options that, um, that he didn't go into. And so I would just like to kind of touch base on them. First of all, it's not impossible to run more than one security software package on a system. It can cause some conflicts, but once you set up exceptions in your rules, um, you can hammer most of them out and things can get along quite nicely. In this particular system, I am running Malwarebytes Premium and I am running Advanced System Care Ultimate 10 Pro. Um, Malwarebytes' anti-malware program, they have just recently expanded so that they're calling themselves a full security suite at this point, and they have changed some recently, so if you haven't checked them out, it's worth a check out. Um, Advanced System Care is a antivirus and um, cleanup program, basically. I tag it along because it does a few things that I find handy that make it worthwhile. And I will note that um, I have had malware bytes catch quite a few things that advanced system care did not catch. And I've had advanced system care catch a few things that malware bytes premium didn't catch. So um, having more than one on there sometimes could pay off. But what I really wanted to point out today is the issue that I have with the instructions for Windows Defender. Yes, when you install a third-party um, anti-malware, antivirus program, it does disable Windows Defender. However, you can go back into Windows Defender and do a little clicky magic. So, if you open Windows Defender, you will see here on my system that I have the orange warnings, and that is because my real-time protection is handled by another antivirus program. And you'll also see here at the top that I have Windows Defender periodic scanning on. Now, Rob didn't go into that. So what you want to do to set this up is to click on settings in Windows Defender. And that's going to pull up your Windows 10 settings app. If you go to the Windows Defender section, you will notice up here that it says Windows Defender is periodically scanning your PC for threats. Okay. The way that I have that working is I have limited periodic scanning turned on. If you click this, um, this little toggle here, Windows Defender will be set to periodically scan your PC for threats and will notify you if any threats are found. I totally have this on. It's totally been on the whole time. It's running at the same time as you can see down here in the taskbar. Windows Defender periodic scanning is on. Advanced System Care is on and Malwarebytes Premium is on. They're all running at the same time. There's no conflicts, there's no drama. It works fine. I had to set up some exceptions into Malwarebytes to get it to stop tagging some of the elements of advanced system care. But once I did that, all the drama was resolved and these three programs work fine, right side by side, no problems. So anyway, just throwing it out there. Um, just because the lessons say this is what you have to do doesn't necessarily mean that's always the case. Um, and I kind of just wanted to point out that one periodic scanning thing in Windows Defender because I think it's kind of important. It's a good feature. It's new to Windows 10. And I just wanted everyone to be aware that it was possible to have that turned on if you're running third-party security software. So there you go. Sorry, Captain Rob.